I'm Stuart Skinner. I'm the Liberal candidate here in Perth, Wellington. Uh, I'm a farmer. Uh, I also hold an undergraduate degree in uh, it's a Bachelor of Commerce in Agriculture Business and a Master of the Science in Agricultural Economics. Um, I've uh, always been a, a strong advocate for having accessible education. I think that it's important that students uh, or people have the ability to, to reach their potential and the, having an accessible education system at a post-secondary level is a very important part of that. I think that we've made a lot of positive gains uh, in education since the Liberal Party took power in 2003 and I look at programs like our tuition credit, uh, our 30% off tuition credit that again it, it works to that goal of trying to make education more accessible. Uh, and then when we look out going forward, the continuation of that program um, will also always maintaining that focus on accessible education. To me, a student should never say, you know what, I can't go to university or college uh, because of a financial reason. If a, if a person feels that that is in their best uh, interest from a professional development standpoint, we have to ensure that we do everything possible to make that accessible so that they can have that choice to go to school. That's a really good question. Uh, and, and budgetary constraints and, and, and balancing fiscal responsibility against that ensuring that we have accessible education is always going to be a challenge uh, and, I, and I don't feel like there's any silver bullet if you will to, to, address, um, to address that issue. I think that we have to look at new ways uh, to, for universities to bring in revenue whether it be uh, further incorporation of international students um, making our, our, our system more accessible to people from outside of the province um, but also maintaining a focus on looking at new ideas to try and make education affordable uh, and I think that some of the, the ideas raised by uh, the Student Association from Waterloo uh, that was presented to me today actually those are there are some really great ways with, with minor tweaks to the system that we can ensure that our low income and middle class uh, families have that opportunity for accessible education. Very, very good question and I think that that starts before a student even gets to university or, or college. Uh, I think it starts at the high school level and we need to, I think we need to take a more integrated approach uh, from a student advisement uh, in, in the high schools to help highlight programs that have high employment ratios. Um, just to give a personal example, uh, coming from my, my undergrad program of agricultural business, uh, last year it had a 100% employment rate coming out of that program, albeit a small program, but it's a program where there's a high demand for jobs. And so that requires integration between the Ministry of Training Colleges and Universities, the Ministry of Education, while also with the private sector to ensure that we're delivering the students that, that the future uh, private sector will need. Uh, so I think that, as I said, it there's a lot of room for some, for an, as I said, an integrated approach on that level to ensure that we're thinking five and 10 and 15 years out so that we're training people for the, the jobs of tomorrow instead of just kind of trying to do things the way we've always done them. And I've been very encouraged by the discussions we've had today and uh, I think that uh, students, students have as much at stake uh, in this election as anybody else. Uh, and we're looking at we're, we, we have this chronic problem of low voter turnout amongst our youth and I think that something that's very important to me is that people or students stand up and are heard uh, because they have so much at stake and I, anything uh, that we can do uh, from, a, from a government level but also from a student group level to increase voter participation and is, is very important and I think that the work that you guys are, are doing here um, being out and, and in, interacting with politicians, trying to get an idea uh, of where different parties stand and then translating that to membership, those are the things that are going to, I feel, are going to engage more voters. So if, if, if we can have one thing coming out of this election, I think that if we can see an increase in, in the young voter uh, demographic, uh, to me that would be a really, really positive step.